In these last days, we're seeing a major bump in technology. And we're seeing a major bump in biotechnology as well. And the Bible warns us and tells us about mixing iron and clay and how they plan on trying to do such. And so we see a lot of things coming out about the involvement of transhumanism. Now, one of the things about transhumanism that I think gets lost in all of these things is the idea of it's just some type of pipe dream for them to become one with the machine, whether it's them trying to gain better ability or for them to just keep better tabs on us. But there's really a religious aspect aspect to this as well and that is the mystery religion and how transgenderism how eugenics how technology and transhumanism are all part of the same game of reaching perfect balance between masculine and feminine or as the bible would say mixing iron and clay and so we tend to just focus on the technology side of that and we lose track of the religious aspect of that and so much so that some of us don't even know about things like the transhumanist church. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Zach, the Wretched Watchman, bringing you a little bit of news as far as the transhuman stuff goes. Now, of course, we see a lot of things being advanced in the technology side of things. We see a lot of things getting advanced in the biotech side of things. And, and we see a lot of this stuff heading towards a transhumanist type of thing. We see what's going on with the AI and the OI, organoid intelligence. We see all the different things that they're trying to do with the Internet of Bodies, what they're trying to attach with the brain chip and we're seeing all these types of things. But one of the things that, again, tends to get lost in all of this is the religious aspect of this because some people like to look at the transhuman stuff and then some people like to look at the transgender stuff. Some people like to look at the eugenic stuff and some people like to look at the, the religious stuff and they're all separate. But ultimately, if we take a look at this stuff, we see how they're all interconnected, all striving towards the same thing. Now, I've been doing a series called The End Times uh, New Age uh, that basically we're we're showing how interconnected all of these things are by the by the thing of mystery religion and this is something that the bible warns about talks about and even dedicates two books in revelation to but it's also one of the things that's least known least talked about and least understood honestly and there's still a lot of things that are connected to it that we may not know but I came across an article from 2016. Now, I know this is from a while ago, but that doesn't mean that it's out of date or out of place or is void in any type of way. No, I think it's something that's been increasing since 2016 for sure. And so I want to take you guys through this journey that I found coming from Business Insider, where it says, I visited a church that wants to conquer death. And again, this is from 2016. But it says, many people think of transhumanism, the belief that humans can evolve through science and tech, as a secular movement. For the most part, it is. But there are a number of organizations that aim to combine science and spirituality together. And so what we're talking about with the End Times New Age series has to do a lot with this, where it's showing how spirituality, <laughs> mystery religion, is intertwined through all this stuff. And it's talking about the belief that humans can evolve through science and tech. And so we've been talking a lot about this because this has to do with the belief that is shared through most 99% of religions out there, real religions out there, that we are gods and we must reach our Christ's consciousness. We must unlock that by taking the conscious evolution, taking that next step of enhancing our bodies and reaching an immortality state, utilizing technology, utilizing transhumanism. And a lot of religions believe in that, whether you're Mormon, Catholic, Hindu, New Age, Gnostic, it doesn't matter. They all believe in some type of aspect of this advancing to the next evolution. And so we see things like this where religious, entire religious movements and churches are coming from it. So if we keep going on this thing, 
It says one of the largest is the Church of Perpetual Life. Right there, right off the bat, they're showing they're trying to reach immortality. A brick-and-mortar worship center near Miami, Florida that looks like any other church. It has a minister, congregation, and church activities. Kind of like that that a Catholic church over there. I think it was Ireland where they had an entire AI-led service. They just keep adding more and more of AI and transhumanism into this. It's just in different ways. The only difference is this church wants to use science to conquer death. The only way you can conquer death is to go through the one that conquered death for all, and that is Jesus Christ. I was asked to speak at a Church of Perpetual Life service while traveling across America on my immortality bus, a coffin-like campaign bus I'm using during my run for president of the U.S. under the guise of the transhumanist part. Services at the Church of Perpetual Life don't revolve around worshiping a deity. They be, that makes sense because most people in this believe they are a deity. So that's that's that makes a lot of sense. They've um, their passionate exploration of life extension research. It's a group of people that want to live forever, but also want to belong to a spiritual community. Conversations are centered around how humanity can improve itself through science, how we can overcome death with technology, and how suffering can be broadly eliminated. I mean, this just goes right along with exactly what mystery religion wants to wants to be, what wants to do, and it's getting back to the Tower of Babel. This is one of the the big things started in the Garden, where where Satan asked Eve, "Did God really say?" And he told Eve, "You can be like God. You will be like God if you eat of this tree." And it spread. Mystery religion began there, and then spread through the Tower of Babel, where they were. They believed that they were gods, and they were going to accomplish that uh, in any way necessary. And so everything that we see happening right now in these last days is trying to get back to the Tower of Babel. It's trying to get back to Babel. And so this belief of living forever, immortality, unlocking godlike status, being their own deities, um, advancing their, their life through technology, taking that conscious evolution, that next step. Through this, and that is being applied in every way that we see being done, whether it's through the WEF or through these scientific departments, through schools, it doesn't matter who's involved. It's they're trying to reach that level, whether they know it or not. And it's mystery religion that seduction of immortality, of being like God, is driving people towards that, whether they know it or not. So if we keep going. This is where it gets interesting. It says the church itself welcomes people of all religions and sometimes explores concepts of a benign creator in, a, in very non-specific terms. Mystery religion has to do with combining all the religions together to create the one world religion, which eventually will come to worship the Antichrist. But mostly church services are dedicated to hosting invited speakers who make presentations on the current status of the anti-aging field. For example, Oh boy, here we go. Uh, ger ger gerontologist. That's the best you're going to get from me, guys. Dr. Aubrey de Grey, a transhumanist party anti aging advisor, spoke there recently. And here we go. So did entrepreneur Martin Rothblatt of Terrasem. Now, we did an entire breakdown of Martin Rothblatt and what he's a part of. And he's one that preaches that. Transhum transgenderism is an on-ramp to transhumanism and it has to do with balance and he's got the Terrasim project which is a religious organization about creating mind files uploading the human consciousness into computers which they will then apply to robots and you will live forever in a robot and he's even um created bina 48 which is a robot version of his wife bina and He's sp spoken at this church. It's all interconnected. It's all intertwined. Again, I, I think it's just fascinating how mystery of religion is leading all of these things together, which will all play a part in this coming Antichrist beast system. It's fascinating. Now, it goes on to say, a cornerstone of the philosophy of the Church of Perpetual Life is an interest in the 19th century Russian prophet Nikolai Fedorovich Fedorovich. Fedorovi, yeah, best you're going to get. Sorry, guys. Uh, considered by some early transhumanists, he believed he could follow, sci uh, follow science to become our best selves. Wait, are we talking about Joel Osteen? Best life now? Interesting. And that 
uh, and that it was the task of humanity to conquer death and unite humans in love and peace. That's exactly what the Bible says is going to start taking place all in the name of worshiping the Antichrist, though. Interesting. Uh, the Church of Perpetual Life considers him a prophet. Major church services take place about every month and sometimes more frequently if a longevity speaker is in town. Neil Vandery, yeah, Neil Vandery, the certified minister of the church, presides uh, over the sermons. He is also the main go-to person of the 500-plus person congregation. Vandery and I spoke a number of times on Buddhist philosophy, which both of us appreciate greatly. Now they talk about Buddhist philosophy because all the things like Buddhism and Hinduism and occultism and new age and Mormonism and all these, all these ones that everybody think are separate, they all have the same foundation, which is Gnosticism. And like we talked about back in the garden of Eden, that was the world's first religion. Now it's important to understand that Bible believing Christ following Christianity is not a religion. Jesus hates religion because all religion is from Satan. We have a relationship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that separates us from all of the rest. And so the question of how are all these religions going to come together when they're all so different? Well, all their foundations are the same. So when they all come from the same place, they'll all go back to the same place, which would be the one world religion. Of course. And so when he's talking about Buddhism, that matches right along with trans uh, transhumanism perfectly. Again, we've talked about this stuff in the End Times New Age series. So if you haven't been watching that, you haven't been checking that out, I highly suggest you head on over and start getting caught up because all this stuff is connected. It's all connected. Uh, let's see here. Did we talk about that? Yep. Okay. So. Uh, finishing it up on the right, I spoke the on the night I spoke. The 37 foot long immortality bus was uh, parked by the church entrance with the floodlights hovering over it because the bus resembles a giant coffin. To remind people, we should all be working on overcoming death. The only way to overcome death is to put your life in the hands of Jesus, as the only way. The church decided to put a spotlight on it after the sermon for the 60 or so churchgoers. And to finish this off, it says, because I'm a U.S. presidential can uh, candidate, my speeches are almost always political, but I promised Vandery I wouldn't speak at all about politics. So instead, I spoke on how important it is to spread transhumanism to the general public. There were discussions about the implant I have in my hand, stem cell technology, and whether mind uploading, mind files, is possible. I believe it is. After my speech, uh, Bill Falloon gave a short, passionate talk on the dangers of high blood pressure. Now, this is interesting. On transhumanist, uh, Maitreya One performed a sh short rap song about longevity. The evening ended with drinks and dinner, as well as visits aboard the immortality bus. Now, it's interesting that there's a rapper um, by the name of Maitreya One. Now, we just talked about this on the End Times New Age series as well. This is the belief from most religions, is they believe that there's going to be an astral elder, an ascended master, the Maitreya, uh, that, will become, that will come and basically set the world free. And most religions believe in that. And as we know, as Christians, that's going to be the Antichrist. Many are going to believe that he is that ascended master. He's the Christ. He's the Maitreya. He's the, the ascended master, the astral elder. Whatever name they have on it, they believe the Antichrist is going to be that Christ. But as Christians, we know that is the false Christ. And it's Jesus as the true Christ. Now, it's interesting uh, that he uses the name Maitreya 1, because if you go into the teachings of New Age by Alice Bailey, who's pretty much the mother of, of New Age. She taught that there's going to be that coming Christ figure, the Maitreya, that's going to come and set the world free. And it just goes to show that that belief, that New Age belief, we just saw the Buddhism uh, thing there as well, all line up perfectly with transhumanism. This is all a part of the same thing. This is part of mystery re religion. 
All right, so let's finish this thing off. Uh, let's see here. It says, leaving the church of perpetual life made me think about my atheism. After being raised a Catholic and even attending Catholic school where religious dogma was drilled into me, it was refreshing to be inside a church and feel part of a spiritual community without all the threats of damnation. Even the atheists are following along with this. Very interesting, isn't it? All are going to start being come together under this one world religion. It's very interesting. A church that asks nothing from you and hopes to end death for all humanity using science. She blinded me with science. Um, now she hit me with technology. Sorry. Okay. Now that's something I can support. It's interesting. She blinded me with science. She hit me with technology. Mr. Religion is known as the whore of Babylon. Um, but yeah, I wanted to point this out. I wanted to show this uh, off because I know there's a lot of people that aren't necessarily following that series that I'm doing, but follow the stuff going on with transhumanism. And I really wanted to point this out to show that they are actually one and the same. They're very much intertwined. And even things like the eugenics programs, whether they were uh, the ones that were funded by the Rockefellers, which actually influenced Hitler and the Nazi Germany eugenics programs, which were designed after those uh, Rockefeller funded eugenics programs. All that has to lead into designing the per perfect human has to do with technology now being used to design the perfect human, to create the perfect human or to unlock the God within us. If all this stuff is intertwined. It's all connected. The spirituality of mystery religion the transhuman and technology stuff, the biotechnology stuff, the eugenics that we see all throughout history, all of this has to do with the same thing, and that is the mystery of religion. So much so that there's even transhumanist churches out there. And like Martin Rothblatt's Terrasem program, it's a religious organization that has to do with balance, has to do with transgenderism, has to do with transhumanism. Uploading mind files to live forever in robots it's all interconnected and it's fascinating because everything that the bible said would be unfolding in front of us is unfolding in front of us and it's important to understand that satan's number one goal what he wants to accomplish in all of this is to have people not worship god but to worship him and that's another sign that tells us that everything that's being designed for this beast system one world government one world economy one world religion all has to do with that one world religion, which is about getting people to turn from God and worship him. So everything unfolding, all is intertwined with that. And right now it's mystery religion that is riding the beast into play. That's exactly what Revelation said was going to happen before the Antichrist, before Satan takes over and people worship him. So... All right, guys, I'm going to leave you here. I'll let you guys go right there. And uh, remember our whole goal, what we're commanded to do in these times, these last days, these end times, is to warn people of what is coming and to get people to Jesus. Make sure you're going out there and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to as many people as you can. Tell them to turn away from this junk and worship the only one who can save, who truly defeated death and will give us everlasting life, and that is Jesus Christ. So. All right, guys, be busy in the Lord's work. Continue to look up for the blessed hope comes soon. I'm going to leave you guys here. Peace out and Maranatha.